October 2nd, the Holy Guardian Angels. St. Peter tells us, The devil goes about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. One does not have to look far to see Satan's influence in our world, our society, and in the lives of many poor souls who have fallen under his sway. God has given us many aids to combat the influence of Satan in our own lives. One of these is very easy to overlook and forget about, the angels, and in particular, our guardian angel. Each angel is created with an intelligence far surpassing our human intellects, and they possess great power. As men are far superior in power and intelligence to ants, so are angels far superior to men. As spirits are of a higher order than what is material, so the angels have power over the physical, material creation. We read in the Old Testament that one of the angels was sent to deliver the Israelites from an army which was threatening Jerusalem. In one night, a single angel slew 185,000 Assyrians, thus ending the plight of God's people. It is good to keep this in mind, no matter what forces of evil are arrayed against us. God can put to flight all of this world's power and might by sending one of his angels to our aid. The angels, divided into nine hierarchies, have varied obligations. Kingdoms have their angels assigned to them, dignitaries of the church and of the world have more than one angel to guide them, and every child who enters into the world receives a guardian angel. Our Lord says in the Gospel, Beware lest you scandalize any of these little ones, for their angels in heaven behold the face of my Father. Thus the existence of guardian angels is a dogma of the Christian faith based on Holy Scripture itself. Because we cannot see them, it is easy to forget about the angels, but thankfully they do not forget about us. The angel assigned to us does not cease to watch over and care for us. They are our guardians, our friends, and have been ever since we were born. And just as the devils can have an evil influence over us and tempt us to sin, so the angels continually strive to inspire us to do good, to resist temptation, to practice virtue, and to love God. Let us make an effort to think about the angels throughout the day and to ask them for their help. They will be delighted when we do so and will do a lot more for us if we honor them. Let us make friends with the angels.